stones. They who live Jay, I'm the bartender type character of this program. Yes, and we're here in his kitchen because, after all, a bartender's place is in the kitchen, don't you think? My role has get, been kind of amplified this time around for this particular episode, the Potable Gourmet. This is our special all mixed drinks episode. The Potable Gourmet, Jay here, our professional bartender, is on the job. Um, although he hasn't mixed any drinks yet, he's going to mix plenty because this is the Potable Gourmet. Yeah, now people have often uh, uh, questioned my competence uh, as far as bartending goes, um, and uh, this episode is there is here to prove all those those naysayers wrong, um, because uh, as you'll see tonight, I'm going to mix drinks that you've just never seen before and um, and display my competence for everyone. Yeah. However, you can probably hear the noise in the background there. We've got some people uh, here, amongst them. Uh, well, they're all men actually. Uh, we decided to have a booze drinking party, and lo and behold, all of our guy friends showed up, and, and uh, no women. So, um, but actually, we've hired some women who are going to come over later. And over the next three weeks, his kidneys fail, you know, all kinds of things happen, but he's coming around. And after six weeks of this ordeal, he's hardly eaten anything, just in this tube in his gut. And this is this man that I have known. I, three years ago, I ran a half a marathon with him. He's a son of a bitch. I see you're falling apart. He says, fuck it. I don't care. I'm going to live till I drop. What's that jar on that top shelf? That's my father's ashes. They burnt him. Oh. I, I chose the urn. I wow. thought it was blood. It was like blood red marble. It was marbled like muscle. And I thought he would appreciate that because he was a very visceral, passionate guy. Hey, listen, man, the tribal people fucking would save the bones of their ancestors and uh, crush them up and then serve it in a drink every year. They, they would collect the dead from the whole year. Uh, they would burn the flesh off their bodies, but keep the bones. They would crush the bones into a powder, mix uh, scoops of the bones in this urn that they keep buried year after year, which still holds the, at, holds the ashes of the first person. Yeah. And then they all drink of it as a tribe. Should we do that? Sure. Should we drink a little bit of my dad? Sure. Yeah, he, was a hearty, he was a hearty son of a bitch. I mean, it would be a good, he would appreciate us actually putting him in a drink. He would love that. My father drank a great deal. He loved good booze. <laughs> Are you going to mix the damn drink or what? Me? Yeah, the people, you're the bartender. Scotch and oh. ashes. Oh, okay. scotch and ashes, yeah. <laughs> scotch and ashes, scotch and ashes, scotch and ashes. Yes, scotch, scotch and ashes. ashes. Yes, that's, that's a tongue twister, that's scotch right. and ashes. <laughs> we should make a manly drink. Yeah. Because this is a man's party. <laughs> scotch and ashes. <laughs> this is a male party, all right? This is a masculine party. If there's ever a testimonial to a man, it's the fact that his urn is duct tape. That. <laughs> My dad dug parties. This was this is a good thing. He'd really enjoy this. We should be smoking cigars too. This is a man's party. I saw this those fucking expensive party. cigars you got, got up there. Home. They come yeah. in a box. They must be good. It's the real Jamaicans. Wow, there's wow. just none in there. Oh man. Oh, look at oh. that. Oh. 
Look at this. Had this is amazing. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Should we light these up now or should we do this? No, we should, we should do this now while we're doing the, the booze. This right, is the great. proper thing. Because Bite it off. Like, Bite the son of a bitch off. We're billies right here. That's right. We're billies. Who's got the fucking light? Light me up. Oh. Yeah. Okay, enough sex play. Light me up. Oh, God. Ooh, now Make that really huh. looks Look at me. Wow, I'm getting a nicotine rush already. Jay. All right, I'm ready. Now, uh, for this drink, we're using this uh, Cadden Heads sm single malt scotch whiskey. You'll notice that it's 15 years old, which is really nothing in comparison to, uh, to Russ's father. Gene, Eugene Levin. But in dog years, it might have been about the same. Yeah, exactly. Uh, pour yourself about a half of a, of a shot of it here. And so, uh, of course, the next thing that you want to add to this is a pinch of your, your father's ashes or someone you know's father's May ashes. May I? Yes, oh. Since I'm his son. Wow, look, there's your dad. I'm going dad. to take a pinch of it. Wow. Just wow. a pinch. I've never seen burnt human before. Okay. That is just deeply intense. So, uh, and then you want to taste, taste this. Wow. Hey, God, Jay. that's like a spiritual experience. It's Can we all have one? Each one now has ashes in it. Each shot glass has ashes in it. Okay, so that's we right. got to say my father's favorite toast, considering the circumstances. Definitely. Up yours. Together, <laughs> gentlemen. Up, up yours. yours. Woo! Well, this is not a negative thing to him. The fact that we were actually imbibing with him in a drink. With him and of him. Oh, with him and of him. He would love this. He would idolize this activity. You know, I would say Russ's dad tastes pretty damn good. <laughs> All right. Woo, this is a man's party. This is a man's party. Jay here, our, our resident professional bartender, is going to mix a drink in honor of T. Black. For my... Uh... A celebration of his manhood. At great expense, we have brought a professional bartender here to school you in the art of bartending. Now, um, Joe is... Professional? A professional. Jesus. Yeah, well, you, you may have thought he was incompetent before, but you're now going to find out how to mix. Um, well, what is it exactly? Oh, do I get to introduce my own drink? Wow. Uh, you. Jeez. <laughs> hey, it's a man's party. A little pent up frustration, Jay? It's testosterone party. I'm going to mix a drink, and it's going to be called a tea black jack. Um, and that's because tea black is right over there, and, and um, he is nothing if not. And I started jacking up. off, man. Yeah. When yeah. I was in fourth grade, because Steve Sticker told me about it when we were in like third grade, one night we were together, myself, Drew Hupp. Uh, Steve Stricker, and the first time he told me about, he just said, um, he just said, man, my older brother said, if you p touch it and pull on it and stuff, it feels good. So I sat on that for about a year, not the penis, but the idea. So it was winter time, it was cold, and all of a sudden the idea came back into my head. Hey, Steve Stricker said, if you touched it, it'd feel good. So I touched it and 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 touched it. Nothing really was happening for the longest time, and it was like, are you all right? Yeah. So I said, okay, this is something sexual, and I know when people have sex, maybe the man's laying like this on the toilet, like that, you know? So then what? I started doing like that. And man, within a couple minutes, it was like, uh, I think this is a man's party. I, like it. It. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. As we were saying, a tea black jack, um, you're finally catching on to the history of this drink, but now we've come to the present, which is blackberry brandy in honor of tea black. Because um, I like blackberry wine, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and as everybody knows, tea black is nothing if not a true fruit. Um, and uh, so we're going to pour this conspicuously into this glass. A thumb's worth. The, the next thing you want to add is uh, about an equal amount of apple jack. It's about time to, uh, to add some milk. Um, now, we're adding whole milk here. Um, mm, it's because thicker. It's thicker than that skim thin shit. That's right? not yeah. black at all. It's white. Oh, oh. That's the jack part, brother. Yeah, yeah. T. Black just drinks it. So uh, the last thing you want to do with this drink is, uh, is mix it with T. Black's nose pin. Um, Spike! Spike, excuse me. And then uh, and then have a taste. Um, except you want to give it to him. There's a little drop right there. <coughs> hmm. yeah, yeah. Fine bouquet. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
know, some people say that I'm incompetent. Well, obviously, you've seen how this affects this perfectly normal human being. You paid um, him. I like the phlegmy residue. It, what didn't get you off like that? Don't lie to us all. That's a, it's a lie. Yeah? Yeah, it was an act. Exactly, it was, it was man. It's like a fucking show. Man, I have never fucking denied it, man. I use this for a creative outlet, all right? Okay, cool. <laughs> That's cool. But the sex thing. I mean, that, that was my character, man. That was always very good. We, we thought you. you were actually there. Exactly. But then I discovered you weren't. Doesn't I was shocked for a moment, but I guess I understand that. I was uh, about uh, to what, what's it, I was there. What, you expected ejaculation or something? Jism cum coming out? What, could you it do was, one of those for It was an emotional. It was an emotional and a fucking your, mental thing, your man. Your body was really with that emotional sure. thing. Sure. Yeah, no. Oh, I was not there. really. Sure. I was but not was, really. Man. No. Maybe um, in, in return you should mix a drink for Jay. Okay. Just just keep this kid with the fire the hell out of the living room. All right. What is it? It's called a fireball. This is a man's party. <laughs> See, is tonight is this circus that I was originally going to be in because you know I'm a clown for the high flyers. I was going to be a fire breather, okay? That was going to be my character. I was going to be in this mythical land breathing fire, you know? And the fire marshal cracked down on me, man, and I, they, they wouldn't let me perform it. Okay, the two ingredients that you need for this drink is Everclear, 95% alcohol, and butane, and probably a little bit of flint. Well, it's a man's party. It's not easy being a man. It's not easy drinking um, like a man. Sometimes you have to just, you know, get a, a, a stiffen your upper lip and uh, deal with what you're about to be confronted with. Yeah, and speaking of stiff things, it's about time that I mix you a drink. It's something, man. This may look like some kind of a toy, but actually it is a, 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 a very traditional and... and uh, and historically significant um, decanter that uh, that all good drinkers know about. Weepy the wee wee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God, the stench. Jesus Christ. This one is is going to be called John's Harry Butthole, um, and uh, it's uh, it's it's made with with several ingredients. The first of which is is uh, creme de mint. You know the reason that you're using this is is to symbolize his. Uh, his minty fresh butthole stench that he cr produces every time he comes around other people. The next thing that you want to add is uh, some creme de cacao because of course this is a brown uh, liqueur. Huh. Um, brown. And, uh, and like a butthole! Yeah, yeah. Our man Russ has, uh, has come through with the brilliant analysis that, that it took at that particular time. The next thing that we want to add is, uh, <laughs> is some of this beef eater dry gin. Now you may be wondering why beef eater dry gin. Well it's because John likes to 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 dress up, to put on the Ritz. Um and so like that guy, the beef eater. Yeah, yeah. So so um just Peter. add some of this here Peter. to uh to Peter. this weepy the wee wee guy. Um if it drips down the side, that's okay because so much the better. Yeah, yeah. Because, because then you just have to lick it up later. Yeah. It's weepy the then wee wee. Then you need to plug the little um butthole here, um... Music! Hello? Hello. Okay, oh! Dude. Whoa! <laughs> and then you gotta, um, give some to your friend, John. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> this is your idea of a good time? Wow. Weepy. Weepy is the man, man. You fucked up because the camera wasn't on when you sent it back to me. You are a fake, motherfucker. No, you turned <laughs> it off on the Rehearsed, motherfucker. At least I make the shit up out of my ass. This is a man's party. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Candy for children. Show back, show back. <laughs> Now it's time to hunt for our own. Our 
our you know, own penises. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man's party. No, oh, I'm pulling out of the freezer a big bottle of chilled Stoli. Wow. It's ice cold. So cold you can't taste it. See, cold numbs your taste bud. Americans are like pablum. It's, we're spoon-fed this homogeneity in alcohol. That's why you take the best vodka in the world and, and, and make it so you can't taste it. I don't quite understand it. Ah! My sarcastic fuckbag friend. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. You can do this no. to the shop. I, 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 no! No! no, I don't. There we go. Oh, yes, right. Rachel. What do yes. you think? Mmm, <coughs> that's tasty. I am so surprised. You hardly even no. taste the shit. Drink up, Joe. There was nothing in there. Touch your nose. What is he right doing? Oh, he. He failed the sobriety test. Here, I'll touch your nose. See, you must be sober. <laughs> oh, okay. There it is. I still have a nose, so I must be sober. <laughs> the uh, old-fashioned way, of course, to do the fireplace, but being modern as we are, we're just going to use a butane. Isn't this how William S. Burroughs offed his <laughs> wife? <laughs> <laughs> It's like a chocolate milkshake to me. Yes, it's an ale flip on the head. Oh, it's a beautiful mm. thing, Stimpy. It's hot. Sweet wow, look at the head on that. Ooh. You can't beat a good head. Um, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Oh, baby, it's hot and creamy. 98.6 degrees. Come on, get on that thing with your tongue. 98.6 degrees. Mmm. I'll never say no again. <laughs> Rachel? That's weird. It really does bring out the hop essence of a beer. I dig the hell out of this. In fact, I have a Gideon Bible here that I'd like to point out just a couple of interesting facts. No, wait, wait, wait. You a Gideon scene? Bible? You didn't steal this from a motel. Did oh, you? I absolutely did. Dig it. We're talking right. about the Last Supper. Right? And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. He's saying, look, get all fucked up. He says, Peter, you're going to betray me three times. Peter says, he's all drunk. No, I won't. Right? He's all drunk. He's not, he's not. But this is like some big deal. And then he said to them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful. Even unto death, tarry ye here and watch with me. He's all bummed out. He's eliciting pity from these, these boys that he's brought with him after he's been drinking wine. He found their eyes were heavy with sleep. What? Could ye not watch with me one fucking hour? This is the son of God. Right? And the guys that he has around him are sodding alcoholics who drink their asses into a fucking stupor in his moment of goddamn need when he tells them time and time again, they're going to take me away. This is it, you guys. And they go, <laughs> right? Now, yeah. this is the thing that entire Western civilization is built upon. A bunch of alcoholics following some hippie radical who feeds them booze and then complains about them being asleep. What basically happened was those disciples wrote this book that they sold a lot of. Um, and, uh, and so in a similar way, I, Jay, with my J uh, pin here, um, am making this Empowered video uh, about, about drinking and encouraging you to drink. And, and um, pretty soon here, you're going to get drunk and, and uh, betray me. And, and um, then we'll have some kind of uh, second coming. Um, really, Jay, wow. could I betray but, you right now? But Look, I've seen you mix drinks. I want to know, is an ounce, a cup, or a pint? You overpour the hell. You use the worst fucking booze imaginable. Why is that, Jay? Why do you, why, what is it you're trying to get off on your audience, you know? That you can just sort of pour a bunch of alcohol into a glass and it's a drink? It's supposed to have taste. It's your turn, Ralph. Oh, my God, I didn't know. You're about to be schooled in the art of bartending by one... J of rocks. I want to see what he can do. I'll give the guy a chance. We'll see. And now, the amazing J, bartender of rocks, mixes a drink for yeah. Russ. Well, um, so so this next drink that we're going to be making, um, god damn, this uh, this next drink that we're going to be making here is uh, oh <laughs> yeah, is going to be a Russ's. 
um, hairy earlobe, uh, or just a hairy earlobe, actually. Um, uh, this drink is kind of similar to a fuzzy navel, except it has this stuff, um, harvest pear schnapps um, in it, instead of that other shit. This next, uh, this next ingredient here, um, some uh, orange juice, just pour in about that much, then serve it to your, your favorite hairy earlobe guy. There they are. Oh, look, he shaved his ear. That's earlobes. amazing. It was embarrassing. <laughs> well, Russ, we need a pronouncement. How is it, man? How does it taste? Is it a good drink? <laughs> do you want to finish it? <laughs> what do you think? Is Jay here a competent bartender? Up to I think you're a, you're a fine individual, and uh, you have many great traits. You suck as a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> it's really... <laughs> You know, wow. actually, this is one of the more potable things you've ever created. I enjoy it as a sensation, mm -hmm. you know. Although this is the kind of thing that makes you puke the next day after a bunch of beer and other kinds of booze that are <laughs> probably okay for you. Cool. Down it, yeah. man. <laughs> one gulp. Jay? Huh? It has come upon you that you must taste this drink. This drink? That you made. <laughs> oh, God. I'm being imposed upon by my own, um... Craft. Your third eye. A bartender who drinks the drinks that he makes. Wow. That's, uh, I, I'm surprised at, uh, at, at my craftsmanship. <laughs> it, uh, it, it tastes kind of almost good. I must be gaining, gaining competence as, as uh, the night goes on. But of course, then there's Christy. I fail to catch your proverbial drift. I wanted to grasp that feeling of going sledding again. So I'm making a hot chocolate, only it's going to be cold. So you pour in some milk, some cream, the cow-cow, and one quick injection. Oh, oh my god. What, 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 what is it? Now it's just time for the experiment. 10 cc's, and I believe that was a love band. And now we are going to need some soda. And here's some raspberry soda, because I love... Whoa! Oh, oh it's a party Woo! now. <laughs> Boy, now that reminds me of... Of Santa, back when he was just starting out, couldn't control himself, sat on his lap. Woo! Mm. Oh my God! There look what's she happening! Is. Oh, delicious! Whoa! Delightful! Just that sort of romantic head that everybody likes, just over the top. We all like it a little over the top. Mm. It's like a hot fudge sundae. Wow! Goodness, that has a kind of foamy. Um, uh, lyrical goodness to it um, that uh, that I find refreshing at this juncture. Wow. So uh, I guess it's my turn to mix a drink in return for, for Christy Paxson here. This drink here is going to be called a Christ with a Y. And, this, I, uh, and I'm getting a back rub while it's going on, so this is an extra thrill. Ooh. Spiritual and physical. Um, Two now this, men at the same time. Yeah. Oh. Um, now this is uh, 50 milliliters that we have here, which is 1.7 ounces, of course, and that's that's an important amount that you want to add to this uh, this particular drink, oh. Christian Brothers brandy. And uh, then the next thing that you want to add is uh, some of this Frangelico stuff. And uh, so just add about that much, you know. That's probably about. But how much was it? Did you just put it? Damn it! I was I was afraid that that you were going to ask me that. I'm sorry, yeah. but we're going to have to discontinue the back rub for a moment oh. while I explain that. <laughs> really? um, See, Jay mixes these drinks. We work together, the two of us, to try to please people like Christy uh, two men at once. It's not what enough, I, ladies. What are you talking about? <laughs> we work together, Jay and I, as a team. He makes these drinks. I help drink them. He drinks them. The other people around here drink them. But then uh, later on, you see, later we, we have someone videotape, like T. Black is doing right now. He's videotaping. And then I have to interpret these tapes later, and I have to um, figure out the information. I have to extract the information from the madness, the chaos of what actually happened. Uh-huh. And I have to put a measurement, a quantitative measurement on the screen so that you at home can mix this drink with us and drink along with us. You know, that's, I hope that you're doing that. How much liquor was that? What is the precise measurement of Frangelico in this drink? I want to put it um, on the screen. Well, let's see. We, I would say it would probably be about... Um, <laughs> uh -oh. 
Stump the bartender Yay! with what B. Win? What does he win? One ounce. How's that? <laughs> Actually, I was going to give this to Christy. Oh. This was originally mixed for Christy. We just kind of got off the subject a little bit. Um, and so I'm going to give it to her. This a reminds me with a Y. You could, Urine again? You could say it acts as a mouthwash. Well, I guess I've got to taste this drink to prove that I haven't been trying to poison people. Yeah. Uh-oh. Try it again. Now, here, Bart. Here, you try it. This is a menage a trois. A toast to... Uh, a menage a trois? A toast to three-way love. Oh. Good night. Good night. Good night. One and all. Hey, hey you're not going in there with a woman, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. This is... A, I like this. This is really hey. good. I think that this may be the uh, best drink that we've ever had on this, on this <gasps> series. Do you hear that? What? You just fixed the best drink! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, of the whole contest. series! You're the probably whole wondering what was series. going on it's here. It's the best drink. Yeah, the da, whole series. Da, 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 best da, da, drink da, the It's the <laughs> best drink. Da, 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 da. What happened? Uh, um, Look at my glistening wet boot. Kiss the glistening wet Looks boot. Like Christy, I kiss. spilled some of your drink. Lick it up. <laughs> God, but I, you're into this sick stuff, man. I just think I'm not into that, okay? I was taught to be proud and, you know, I could be anything I want to be. Ooh. Just a taste. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is kind of the way that we stumbling, babbling artists spend our time a lot of the time. Um, but uh, we thought we'd tell you about the way that another... <laughs> <laughs> That really was an accident. Good <laughs> God! But I got the shot, brother. I got the shot. Another. <laughs> that really was an accident. <laughs> he just didn't fully latch his knob before he shut the door. Yeah. He didn't fully latch his knob. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a bad night. It's a man's party. I can't party. believe you did that, man. <laughs> I can't believe you barged into the man with his woman in his room. The most there in his sacred masculine room. ceremony. Well, you know, who knows what was going on in there, but but you you burst in like that, like uh, with a video camera. No less. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened to be in my hand, I'm telling you. He didn't fully latch his knob. I just leaned up against the door, man. I just leaned up against the door because I was trying to get the over-the-shoulder shot of mm -hmm. J here and then B over the shoulder there. So I, you kept coming at me, so I kind of uh -huh. kept backing up and leaning into the door, and there it was. <coughs> Oops. Hi, Russ. <laughs> okay, I got the shot. <laughs> I got the shot, man. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> Exceptionally uncalled for. <laughs> I'm getting kicked out! <laughs> <laughs> Here's to love and life and friendship and it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and mixed drinks, of course. Mixed drinks. The uh, the entire point of this entire travesty, the potable gourmet. And and you mix them better than anybody. Oh yeah. That's yeah. absolutely true. You know, the it just goes to show you, gang, don't drink your dad's ashes on a new moon. <laughs> Although he made the best drinks he's ever made. Well, wait till the next day because, man, your dad's pretty damn good. I, I didn't get a swig of him last night. Lots of him left. Wow. So you guys are just one big happy family after all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh it was all he a joke. And you he too. Didn't think this was real. It's he only didn't... reality based. Oh, yeah. Television. Yeah.